and meet the Corbin Model 8. Watch this video for the unboxing of Corbin and how to use it along with what not to do. It's an elegant tool that allows you to pour wine from a bottle without having to actually open the wine. I got this off of Amazon for $299. To get your own, just follow the link in the description box below. So once it's open, it has a card in it and it says, Hello and welcome to Corbin. Wine lovers all over the world have committed to lose the corkscrews and find freedom by the glass. We're thrilled that you joined the movement and know that your wine experience will never be the same. Getting started is easy. And it has like a uh, join the club links and the website. And here's another thing. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Okay, it says welcome to Corbin again. Okay. It looks like this is long paper and then this is the instructions on how to use it. Next thing. Oh, what's this? Okay. It's a cute little box. Okay, I open the box here. Okay, what's this? Looks like it's a bag. Okay, interesting. So I guess this is a bag to put it in. And then there's like two metal things here. So this is the argon gas. Okay, so it comes with two. That's pretty good. Okay, and then it looks like right here, it comes with a needle clearing tool. Now I'm gonna open the main thing. Like there's a ribbon that pulls out really easily. Okay. Does it pull out some water? Okay, no. Here's, here it is. Another box. So once I open it up, looks like this. Okay, so here it is. I'll open it up. Whoa, it's heavy. So this whole thing is made of metal and it feels like it. It's heavy. Oh, here's the needle, and there's a safety to the needle, so that is important. Okay. So I guess this is where the, the gas would go in. Wow, looks pretty neat. Alright, now let's go try it! Step 1, put in the argon gas canister. Step 2, screw on the canister sleeve with the argon gas inside. Fun fact! You cannot bring argon gas on the airplane. You can't use this on your trips because it is highly explosive. Guess you'll have to finish a whole bottle. <laughs> How does this gadget work? It has a very sharp, very thin needle. It almost looks like a medical needle. It pierces the cork and pressurizes your bottle with argon gas. Step 3. Make sure to remove the foil or wax on the wine bottle before using the Corvin. Step 4. Pull the needle up as high as it can go. Step 5. Open the clamp and put it around the wine bottle. Make sure the metal base is sitting on the cork. I bought the older Model 8 because Corvin's newer model has more plastic parts, especially the clamp, whereas the Model 8 is made from all metal parts, which means it's less likely to break. Step 6. Put Push down on the handle slowly to guide the needle into the cork. Step 7. Tilt the bottle at a 45 degree angle and quickly press and release the trigger. This will release argon gas into the bottle and push wine out through the needle. Their argon gas canisters are pretty expensive. They are about $15 for two. The cheapest place to buy them is in the description box below. You only get about 15 pours out of one argon canister. I justify the cost because it's better than wasting an expensive bottle of wine. Step 8. Gently pull the needle out by pulling the handle up. Step 9. 
Remove the core bin by squeezing the clamp. After you take the needle out, the core automatically reseals itself. The cork is now perfectly sealed. I love this product because I'm able to drink single glasses of more expensive bottles of wine without wasting it due to oxidation. I have a lot more fun drinking different glasses of wine without having to wait for a special occasion or having to hunt down a group of people to drink with me. Things you need to know. If the cork is cold, you need to let it warm up for a minute. It might damage the cork if it's too cold or can cause some leak. Be careful when you use a needle on an old or fragile cork. It may damage the cork. It may take a couple of minutes for the cork to reseal itself after you take out the needle. Some leakage is normal. I had a leakage on a bottle I tried and after I let it sit for about 5 minutes, it sealed perfectly. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video on Coravan. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Vlog you next time. Bye!